Hi there, Chris here. <laughs> well, I finally did it. Um, when you're picking, when you're picking lever locks, um, sometimes you get your wire stuck in there. Sometimes uh, it's and it's also possible to get your tensioner stuck in there. And the reason that is, is when you put in your tensioner and you tension your lock, what you're tensioning off, hi Suk, what you're tensioning off is the bolt. And the bolt is shaped, kind of goes up and down. And so there's a little notch in that bolt. And if your tensioner is too tall, whether it's this type, or whether it's this type, you get to a point in that V, let's pretend that this would be the V, where if it's too tall, it won't throw the bolt, it won't hit the downside of that, that V and throw the bolt. Now, I've never done this before. Um, I, think, I think Jack Fox talked about it on his 440, he got his stuck, a tensioner stuck in there. And he ended up um, drilling out the, the rivets uh, to extract it. I mean, it's the only way you can do it really, if it's really and truly stuck. And then he put a nice little um, plexiglass cover over it. So the other day, <laughs> I was trying to pick this beautiful belfry and um, I got this thing stuck. I mean, stuck, stuck. And I messed with it. I took this off and put some pliers on it and jiggled and, and did everything and tried to pull it out. And really, um, I, was, I was very glad to get the lock picked and I got my wire out. But that was the end of it. You know, I spent, like I say, over two hours playing, poking, doing everything to try and get it, get it out. And I thought, well, I can do a couple of things. One of the things I could do would be just order another tensioner and set this aside. Well, I know that would haunt me. It would take me a couple of weeks to get another tensioner. And it would just, every time I saw the lock, it would haunt me. So... Uh, it's such a beautiful example of this belfry. And this is one with the humped, the humped top as opposed to the, where's the other one? Uh, da -da -da -da. I know it's here somewhere. Well, I can't find it right at the moment. Or can I? Oh, here we go. This, the shop shackle is humped. In it so it sort of breaks that curve this one it isn't and this one I, I have not managed to <laughs> I, I didn't get a tensioner stuck in it although the wire is a little tight to get out but still anyway so I thought instead of waiting paying a lot of money waiting two weeks and having this thing haunt me you know get a new tensioner I thought I'd bite the bullet and drill it out. So I've drilled it out, and what it takes, you need a hand drill, and you need quality drill bits. Now, um, most of the drill bits you find on Amazon are for wood. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and wood ones, um, they aren't really a high quality. They can be, but generally they're not. So if you look at, if you go in there and you're looking at metal milling bits and that kind of thing, and you'll come across some of these, some of these quality drill bits that are designed specifically for, you know, hardened steel and, and, and steel drilling. And that's what you want to get. And they're not all that expensive. I got this one. Um, I think it's a generic. I don't even think it. Oh, yes, it does. Come aware. Uh, 13 pieces, and it was, they were about a buck a piece. So this is about 15 bucks 
uh, to get this and well worth the money. So I went and I drilled it out and you have to drill it out past both of these uh, layers here so it'll pop off. So once I get this off, you get it and then you take it, your screwdriver. Now Chris Jones has showed how to do all this because he, he did one. Peter sent him one, that one more like this, this style that was all rusted, rusted, rusted. And he was able to uh, take it off and put a clear cover over it, which is awesome. So I've, I've taken this, drilled them out, popped it off there. First thing you want to do is get rid of the bats, get the bats out of the belfry. Um, and this is what this looks like, the plate. And I will end up putting a uh, putting a clear cover over this. And I think what I can do is I can maybe just keep all these, cut this little slag off there and um, drill in, tap it for screws so that I can ha screw in either the regular cover or a plexiglass cover. Well, that remains to be seen. So let's see if we can gently disassemble this and get, get it down so I can retrieve my tensioner. So what I'm gonna do, hopefully, is mark these so that my key will still work. Do I have a key? Yes, I do have a key. So this is going to be one, and that doesn't work. <laughs> well, let's see if I can get this one to work. All right, that's going to work. So that's one. And I think once I get this these down, and this is two, that I'll be able to hopefully get my my tensioner out three Asuk. she's over there watching for and we'll also see if there was something wrong to make it stick that I I'm not I don't know yet but we're gonna find out just right here in a moment all right so let's take a look at this without moving anything. Without the levers in here, I can move it back and, and retrieve it. So we'll put it back in. I don't know why, the levers must have fallen down, but I'll take this all apart. It's good to have this back in one piece. And this is a spacer. And this is the bolt. And this is like I, I was explaining with that little thing on top, that little notch. And I think probably what happened as I, as it was stuck almost, not quite thrown enough to get the tensioner out, I think maybe the levers fell down. Maybe when I was taking the wire out Actually, you can see there, it doesn't really want to throw it. Well, it is throwing it all the way, but it was stuck about here enough so that the bolt, the shackle was released, but not to come out. So let's pull this out. Also, you want to make sure that this is all square and perpendicular. This is so clean inside. Yeah, there's nothing bent on here. I think Chris Jones had one that this was bent down and that was a problem. That was a problem for the levers not working. So that's all the pieces. What I'll do is I'll clean this all up and see if I can't uh, put a perspex or plexiglass front on it and then use something smaller not, not as tall as this, 
I don't think the cabinet one works because I had it. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, the, because the the post is too big for the cabinet. Mm. So I may make one out of a key. Find a key that I can make a tensioner out of. Then it would do it. But you can see the swing there. And if it's too tall, it just jams it up. It pushes it up instead of pushing it over. Anyway, that's that. I'm very ha happy to get my tensioner back. And also to see in this, it's it's too bad to have to open such a beautiful lock, but uh, there's no other way for me to get it out. So we'll try and make a nice uh, display lock out of it. And then see if I can get the correct height tensioner or making a key tensioner or, what, or whatever so I can actually pick this. Because I on, only was able to pick it the one time and then it, it froze. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, leave, a, uh, leave any questions in the comments. Um, and we will see you next time.